Hello. Hello there, all you wonderful web-wandering beasts. Brandon Valentine here, the pretentious fiend. Today we're going to be having a little bit of a look at the new track by Weezer, all my favourite songs, which is the lead single for their upcoming album, OK Human. Now this album and single come as somewhat of a surprise because midway through last year, Weezer were gearing up to release a new album, Van Weezer. Because of the state of the world and the inability to tour that album at the time, they chose to postpone it to later on in this year. And now we're all of a sudden met with a kind of out of nowhere, out of the blue Weezer release. So if you're a Weezer fan, this is a good year for you. You're getting two albums in one year. But before we continue with the review, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell like the town scryer warning the populace of an oncoming plague. Straight off the bat, it's Weezer. For sure, it's Weezer. There were some really enjoyable little parts in this and some really interesting things in terms of extra instrumentalization and a really nice open and breathy kind of production. Opening with a kind of dusty music box, adding to this kind of broken and frail feeling as if one was to be a doll in a music box. But then it takes a hard but not altogether unexpected turn into what can only be described as Beatles-esque marching band kind of tones, where you're looking at that very Sgt. Pepper style strings and snare drum. With some regalious horns, it ends up being a kind of fun and pompous bed for some really quite soft and vulnerable vocals. But once that thematic Beatles style tone is established, we're met very quickly with the exact type of uplifting 90s beat that you expect to hear from a Weezer song. And I'll be honest, sometimes these types of drum beats wear on me pretty thinly because they just sit there as like a general rhythm keeping beat instead of capturing little hits and stabs. It always makes me think of the type of drum beat that a singer would write, which very well might be the case here. But tis not the compositional genius and musical nerdosity tea that people go to Weezer for. <laughs> What did you say? We are mostly there for the dreary yet oddly self-affirming lyrics. The Rivers Kawomo deals with themes of sadness and depression in the song and how that affects his life in a very casual and normal way as opposed to using lyrics that are like yeah, It's raining and I'm and sad and everything's so heavy and my heart is crushed. This is much more about the real lived experience about social anxiety when you're at a party and then the fear of missing out and fear of being lonely when you're at home alone and trying to navigate the landscape of how the fuck you integrate with society whilst navigating your own worries and anxieties about the public. And his lyrics here, as they always kind of are, they're very accessible and very easy to imprint on your own experiences. Which is one of the reasons why I think people love Weezer so much. They're able to digest and analyze their own experiences through an artist's lens. If you've ever listened to Rivers Cuomo sing, you'll know straight off that he hits it in this very sweet and soft voice that is always very casual at the same time. But of course that's part of his currency. That ends up leading to that really humble and open and inviting thing that a lot of people want to go to him as a vocalist for. This song is laden with a bunch of very British influences. You do think of the Beatles, things from Evolver and things from Sgt. Peppers. And it is this extra instrumentalization. That's a can mean word to say, by the way, that is the real musical star and meat and potatoes of this song. Adding a really nice rich depth and dimension to what otherwise could have been a kind of run-of-the-mill standard Weezer song. And that's absolutely no tea or shade on a regular standard Weezer song. In fact, I think this song could have even delved further into this string arrangement kind of ideal because some of the best, absolute best points of this song are when the drums draw back and just allow the vocals and the thematic strings to kind of lift up and rise or drop the song at their command. But look, I thought this was an enjoyable, easily digestible cut that had some really nice little rich tones, a great little lyrical meaning, but at the same time structurally and melodically I didn't find it really that engaging. But I do hope that this tone that they have on this is indicative of OK Human, of the upcoming album. An album that was filled with this regalia style marching band tones filtered through a 90s lens. I would find that a really interesting cut. But more important, let me know what you think of the song. If you haven't had a listen, go forth and... <laughs> 
crossbow upon your ears the track. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure you support the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the fucking bell. Brandon Valentine, the pretentious fiend here. I'll catch y'all next time.